In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new digital tool by Teachers Pay Teachers called Easel Assessments. Easel Assessments are basically digital quizzes that are graded automatically by Teachers Pay Teachers and students get instant feedback as they work. So I'll show you how to create your own from scratch and how you can edit one that you've purchased by a seller on TPT. So to get to Easel, you'll want to log in to your Teachers Pay Teachers account and on the top right, you'll see where it says Easel by TPT. If you hover over that, you'll see a green button that says Go to Easel. When you click on that, it'll open up your Easel dashboard and you'll be able to see all of your Easel activities and your assessments. So in this video, we're going to look at assessments. So if you want to create your own assessment from scratch, you'll click on the blue button that says Create and then choose Assessment. And that will open up a brand new assessment that you can create. I'm going to open up one that I've already made, and this one is available for free. Um, so there's a link to it on the blog post, or you can search for it in my store. So this is the Factoring Quadratic Expressions assessment that I made. And once you've added an assessment to your Easel account, you can go in and make any edits that you want before you assign it to students. So I really like that you can make all sorts of changes. Um, if you want to delete a question, just click on that question and you see the trash can there. Or if you want to make a similar question, you can duplicate that question. You can type up here if you want to type out um, directions. You can take out an image and add your own in if you want to. And then you can type in any of these answer boxes here. You can also add additional answer options if you want to. You can even add audio if you want to have audio directions for your students. You can change the layout over here if you want it to be side by side or if you want the image to be above the answer choices. And then here you can change it from one answer, single select, to multiple select if you want more than one answer to be counted as correct. You can also create a poll or choose a true or false question. And if you want to preview it before you assign it to your students, you'll want to click up here on the top right where it says View as Student. And this will open a new tab where you'll be able to go through the assessment and see it just how your students will see it. So they'll see a start button, they'll get a little countdown timer, and then they'll see the first question pop up. So if they click the wrong answer and they hit Check Answer, Right now, the settings are on for them to see the correct answer, and you can turn that setting off if you don't want them to see the right answers. So you can preview the entire assessment to see what it's going to look like for your students. So when you're ready to assign it to students, you'll go up here on the top right where it says Assign, and then you'll want to make sure these settings are how you want them before you assign it to students. As soon as you invite students, you can't change these settings. So you'll want to double check. If you want students to see the correct answers after each question, you'll want this to be on. If you don't want them to see the right answers, you can just turn that off. Um, and then you can also shuffle the questions around, and you can also shuffle the answer options around. So make sure you adjust these settings first before you click this blue Invite Students. So when you click this Invite Students button, it'll generate a link that you can share with students. And you'll see your settings here, so just double check that those are what you want them to be because those cannot be changed once a student starts your assessment. So you can copy that link, you can share it with students. Um, so you can either copy this link and share it with students or you can share it on Google Classroom here. If you have more than one class period that's going to take the same assessment, it might be helpful to create a new code. This will give you another code if you want to separate your results by class. After your students have taken the assessment, you'll be able to click where it says Overview. And as soon as they start taking the assessment, their scores will show up here in this dashboard. So I hope this video helps to give you a quick overview of how the Easel Assessment Tool works. Let me know if you have any questions and make sure to check out the full blog post for step-by-step -step directions.